Hello, everyone. Body paintwork is not very durable. Sometimes even a slight touch leaves abrasions and scratches on the body of the car. Some owners even joke that a cat running over the hood will certainly leave its marks on it. Yes, and rust on it can appear even on relatively new crossover. However, more often than the hood, the tailgate falls under the sharp tongue of chokers. After the first Russian winters, paint can swell on it, which leads to corrosion. However, these defects do not appear on all machines. In addition, the officials are sympathetic to the problems on warranty machines and promptly take measures to eliminate the emerging chart comments. And since the middle of 2017, this sore has completely outlived itself. This defect is no longer found on cars of the 8th model year. However, this is not all the problems with the 5th door of the Creta. When driving through bumps, it rattles unpleasantly due to the loose fit of the lock to the trunk fixing bracket. It seems to be trouble, however, adjustment and replacement with a new unit do not help. Owners simply simply wrap the bracket with electrical tape or other material. An extraneous sound disappear for a while. In the cabin, too, there's something to pay attention to. With mileage, the population of crickets noticeably increases is here. It saves, as a rule, the installation of additional sound insulation, which Krita owners often use. But because of the peel and steering wheel trim, it was usually changed under warranty. Not all users can put up with the screaming heater motor, whose voice turns to falsetto with age and becomes louder. We must pay tribute to Hyundai dealers, who are closely following the Russian fate of the youngest in the crossover family. Cars younger than 2017 have already got rid of these problems. Motors may also require attention, although they are generally considered quite reliable. For Hyundai Creta, two gasoline power units are provided. They are the force with a volume of 1.6 liters, 123 horses, and 2.0 liters, 149 horsepower. Both motors with a timing chain drive and a variable valve timing system. They are well known to mechanics from other vehicles of the concern. Units can really consume 90 seconds gasoline, however, provided that it is of high quality. Surrogate fuel adversely affects the reliability and durability of the engines. The use of bad gasoline leads to clogging of the intake manifold, which will let you know the floating engine speed. At the same time, spark plugs and ignition coils, the power supply system and the injection nozzles suffer. It is also important to monitor the condition of the catalytic converter. As soon as you feel that it begins to show the first signs of wear, change to a new part. The fact is that a catalyst that has served its purpose is destroyed. Its ceramic honeycombs break up into small fraction and dust, which are sucked back into the cylinders. Thus, there is a mechanical effect on the mirror of the cylinder block, compression drops, the shore of oils begins, and the engine is subject to major repairs. And it will have to spend almost a six-figure sum. By the way, the 1.6-liter unit is more often seen in this. By the way, it is also distinguished by uneven idling due to unreasonably low revs only about 600 revolutions per minute. On engines, shaft and idle position sensors, a lambda probe and other electronic trifles in the form of relays and fuses fail. A little longer withstands the generator and starter. And the attachment belt is recommended to be updated every 60,000 kilometers. It often happens that the engine does not start due to the fact that the immobilizer does not recognize the ignition key. At the dealer, this malfunction is treated quickly and inexpensively. There are also problems in the transmission. Although the manual box has already managed to get rid of its congenital source, such a premature failure of the second and third gear synchronizers. The Koreans claim that they have strengthened the design of the manual gearbox, but on some machines such a defect is still occasionally found. But the clutch frame club set. On some machines it required replacement by 20,000 kilometers. 
dealers without talking change the drive and driving discs and at the same time the release bearing which began to make noise by 30,000 kilometers. 2. Since the middle of 2017, a modified Yonet has already been installed on the crates and the problem has been removed. But the 6-speed automatic of its own design is unconditionally reliable. It has been installed of Hyundai and Kia cars for more than a decade and during this time all the congenital source of the automatic transmission have been cut. Most importantly, do not forget to change the transmission all after 60,000 to 90,000 kilometers and also try to avoid excessively sharp maneuvers and avoid long slippage in mud or snow. The crater suspension can be either simpler, with a rear torsion beam for 1.6 liter modification, or completely independent for crossover with a 2 liter engine. If the car has often been used as an SUV, its chassis should be checked with particular patience. Consumables here struts and bushion of stabilizer, which on average nose 20,000 to 50,000 km. Together with them, those who think they are Schumachers often update thrust and wheel bearings. But drivers deprived of fresh and ambitions come to the service to replace them two to three times less often. Shock absorbers can withstand hundreds of thousands of kilometers. Approximately the same amount is measured for ball bearings. But the steering rack cannot boast of durability. It happened that she began to knock after six months of operation having wound less than 10,000 km on the odometer. In such a situation, dealers change the mechanism for free under warranty. They say that on copies younger than 2017, the rake has become more reliable. By the way, often when replacing it, you will also have to fork out for steering tips, which were out at 20,000 to 40,000 km. There are no complete statistics on electrical equipment yet. On the one hand, the electrics on the Creta are not particularly difficult, which in general is not bad, but on the other hand, the car is still young enough to acquire chronic source. Nevertheless, glitches in the system periodically occur. Parking sensors, tire pressure sensors and the power window control unit fail. In expensive versions, the multimedia sometimes freezes. Little things, of course, but annoying. But they are inexpensively repaired and under warranty and completely free. Summing up, we can say that Hyundai Creta is devoid of global technical problems. This is partly due to the relative youth of the motor. Although we must pay tribute to Hyundai, cars have recently pulled up in terms of quality and reliability. And Creta is by no means an exception. And if finance is low, we recommend asking the price of later versions of the crossover, which have already had childhood illnesses. If you have ever had such a model, share information about what and how it breaks in the comments.